Popular Twitch streamer psychiatrist Dr. K has issued a public response after his medical license was reprimanded due to his interactions with late streamer Recful. Now if you guys missed out on the full take on this situation, I covered it in my other video, the link is in the description. Here is Dr. K addressing the Recful board decision. One of the challenges of this situation is that because someone has a right to privacy, I cannot share everything that I know about the situation, right? So people made allegations and like in order to defend myself, I have to violate someone's privacy and I'm not going to do that. I'll never do that. The good news, the relieving thing for me is that with the medical board, the, the right to privacy, because they are a medical board, they reviewed a lot of records, things like that, right? They can look at patient information and they are allowed to make a determination after they've looked through all of the information. And I don't even blame people for thinking negatively about me, right? Because you guys didn't have all the information and you can't ever get the, all the information. I can't give you the information. It's just not possible. And that's okay, right? So that's, it's part of what being a content creator is. So... I think this is a really important, healthy process. This is what oversight looks like. Those guys chose to go on stream and talk to him. Wreckful, while troubled, exposed so many people to therapy. The hate on Dr. K is ridiculous. Eh, you can't expect patients at the most vulnerable moments to know if it's a good idea to be streaming to thousands. If he had his current standards discussing topics and limits beforehand, in place when interviewing Wreckful, Wreckful would have had more agency in decoding to share or not. I don't get why Dr. K wanted to stream any of this at all, unless he was trying to grow his view count brand. Aren't sensitive conversations with patients like that better held in a private setting instead of broadcasting it all on Twitch? Exposure. Look how many streamers wanted to go on and probably got additional help. Doing all this privately doesn't help the mass. He should have never taken Rectful as a client and live stream it. It was clear Rectful was troubled and Dr. K should have shut down live streaming it as soon as he realized Rectful should be talking to professionals. LOL, this is straight up untrue. I've followed Rectful since like 2010, Wrath or Cater if you play WoW, and he would go through phases all the time of being normal, then depressed. When he passed away, he hadn't been well for a long time, maybe even ever. He had already attempted suicide at just 16. Dr. K fanboy, please, just stop. I don't think it's that simple. Like if Dr. K had taken on Reckful as an official patient, then the ethics of streaming sessions gets really murky really quickly. Is Dr. K making money from these streams? Is Reckful? Should these even be public? It doesn't really matter if a patient is okay with something like that because treatment isn't about finding the limits of your patient's acceptable environment. Then, if Reckful was not Dr. K's official patient and those were just two friends talking amongst each other, that clearly can lead to even more issues. Like was the audience informed that what they were watching was explicitly not treatment? When it comes to lawyers, there's a very good reason why they have to explicitly say, this is not legal advice, even in situations where it seems obvious. I'm sure there are very similar things that therapists and psychologists need to do. I don't know, squat diddly, and in reality have no clue about any of the details or anything. I'm just a naive bystander just throwing thoughts onto Reddit for fun. So don't take anything I said as law or anything. During a recent stream, Hassan speaks out on XQC's kick contract after he called out streamers for being silent about the Chris Tyson situation. Here's Hassan's response to XQC. XQC was shitting on me for that too? Oh damn man. Well, but it's you know, like, when, yeah. you got, when you got Jason the Ween doubling his view count, when he's trying to desperately farm as much drama as he possibly can, you got to do what you got to do, baby. You know what I mean? Hey, I hope that I hope that kickback was worth it. If I talked about <laughs> if I talked about a shad man scandal on my show, I would be by my listeners, and they would be right. XQC then reacted to Hassan's clip and then responds back to him. You it's know, like, when you, you know? got when you got yeah, Jesus light up your cigar already, already, doubling his view count. It's about to get when he's crazy. trying to desperately farm as much drama as he possibly can. You got to do what you got to do, baby. You know what I mean? Hey, I hope. Bro, bro, why is this guy always projecting? It's insane. Dude, 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 I swear to God, swear to God, this guy makes everything about views. Bro, brother, if you, if you do any of this guy's view counts, I think you can control his life. Like, actually, this guy is, is like a puppet of the numbers. Like, he gets one bad stream where his stats are like 80%, 70%, and he goes crashing on Discord for hours. Like, dude. Not everything is about views, and not everybody thinks about this other. Like, stop projecting onto. It's just so weird, man. Like, it's not that deep, brother. Holy sh, man. I don't know why he's so focused on that, but I don't even. I don't give a fuck. But, that, but I don't, I'm just saying because it's so unhealthy. Like, it's so unhealthy. Both of them have fragile egos, care too much about view count, and fell off. Five head. Yes, I have a PhD in centrism. Completely agree with the first two. But even though I'm not a Hassan fan, it is election season. Hassan's view count is golden for the next half a year, probably. It's why he feels confident using view count as a jab. I agree about both having egos, 
but in case of XQC, he has ego about different things. Not view count, he plays bad games, and never does what chat wants, so he just does what he wants. Knowing not more people will watch it like I see him playing Valorant in League that's like killing your own viewership. I don't think X cares about view count, or else he wouldn't go live at dead hours straight on kick, wouldn't play the same three games every stream, and wouldn't have joined kick in the first place if he cared that much about view count. I can't speak for Hassan, since I don't watch him, but from the clips I've seen then, I would say that he clearly does.